Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful, soon to be about 75 degree day here uh, in the collapse of global industrial civilization here in the Point Lonesome Swamp, deep in the oasis of freedom. And I keep hearing uh, reports from people up uh, in New York and New England up there. There's something about some ice storm, snowstorm, winter storm. Uh, don't know what that's all about looking around here, but I understand that right now I think it's like three degrees up there in my little cabin, uh, my, my little shack for the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And uh, I want to send out a big thank you to my buddy watching the store, as it were, real eyes, real lies, real lies. And uh, I have the, I've known, uh, I, I've known this man, he's been a buddy, I've known him for a couple of years, and uh, he is the one who is keeping uh is keeping bugs in a jar from freezing and exploding pipes and all of that. And I want to send out a big thank you, brother, for keeping an eye on the store, as it were. And I look forward to your visit down here shortly. But uh, I never knew about this man. Now, I, I know that he is an ace carpenter and tiny house builder and whatnot, but I never knew that living in my own house that my own roommate was a poet, was a, you know, a, what's that word, the poet, that he was the poet laureate of the Doomosphere, but you learn something new about people you think you know every day, so what we're going to do today is we're going to share a poem that my buddy real, realized, uh, <clears throat> wrote. Now it sounds to me like it, it, I thought it was a rap song, a hip hop song. He assures me it's just a poem, but if anybody listening to this is any kind of a rap hip hop singer and would like to put this to a hip hop beat, <clears throat> I would love you to do that. And <clears throat> now realize kind of as we talked yesterday, I, I did edit out one line of his poem because <clears throat> he mentioned the name of somebody we don't talk about here on Collapse Chronicles. But other than that, uh, one little one little editorial uh, <clears throat> decision. This is uh, real... Realize, 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 uh, ode to the letter I, and uh, this is his poem for the Domosphere, The End is Nigh. Take it away, realize, realize, realize. <clears throat> the end is near, the end is nigh. Despite our denial, we all know why. Look at what we're doing to the earth, what we've done to the sky. We acidify, humidify, desertify, we crucify. Our thirst for greed is our battle cry. First, we terrify, then occupy, then pacify, and finally, we commodify. We clarify, classify, certify, and we codify. We're plagued with a massive void that we can never satisfy. No matter our determination to rationalize and to justify. We glorify, fortify, falsify, our extinction monopoly money supply. We ratify, we rectify our lullaby about stars and stripes about the 4th of July. Our Fourth Reich 
culture, Americana, we preachify, glass-eyed blind, as we zombify and Nazify. Go forth and be truthful and multiply, magnify, amplify, and intensify. <clears throat> the world only exists for us to ossify, to vitrify, petrify, and to emulsify. Up from the woken echoes a rallying cry in hopes of protecting the fragile, life-giving water supply. <clears throat> and fever dreams of saving species like the monarch butterfly, the narrative and the plan is to defy, to cease and desist, and to not comply, except to exist we all require a piece of this pie. As determined as we search, we can crown no fall guy. As we search high and low with our bloodshot evil eyes, corporations, Wall Street, Russia, maybe even Dubai, we've shipped all our dirty work to places like Shanghai, it'll take a fine nuclear annihilation, scapegoat, bullseye, our newest false god, technology is our biggest apocalyptic lie. Either way, civilization's gone completely awry, damned if we do, damned if we don't, we're all gonna fry. All that remains is to bid farewell and to say goodbye. We can only bear witness. We can only identify and testify for the end is near. The end is nigh. <laughs> There you go. Uh, amen. Brother, realize, realize real lies. I think that is an excellent, uh, that should be the, uh, certainly the, uh, the poem for the doomosphere. So, uh, anyway, maybe we can get some more poetry out of this man. With that fine, uh, energizing uh, <laughs> start to my day, I'm going to get out there and uh, I, 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 I don't know what uh, I, I'm going to do to energize. <clears throat> Something to do with that gas-sucking truck, probably. Anyway, get out there and uh, testify while you still can. Bye, guys. <laughs>